Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom, and this video is going to show you how flexible the branding options are on your Saren HTML5 website template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this page with you, and we're going to go ahead and change up the backgrounds. We're going to mess around with these drop shadows, and we're going to go ahead and change up some things on the body here. And we're going to do this really quickly and give you kind of the basic options that you have. So let's go ahead and go into the back end, and let's start with the background. So let's go to the background tab, and we're in the design tab. And the first thing we're going to do is you're going to look at the background gradient top color and bottom color. And right now they're both set to white. So if I wanted to change this um, background here to all black, I would go ahead and come in here and I would make both of these, um, you know, a dark color. And I would make them the same color. So if I go ahead and do that and click save, you're going to see that I can go ahead really quickly refresh and um, it changes that background to a dark color. But let's say I wanted two colors to blend into each other. So you can come in here and you can um, pick two colors or you can you can just go ahead and drop like a hex color right in here from Photoshop if you want to use your exact branded colors and I'm going to click save and I'm going to refresh this and you're going to see how we automatically create a gradient right here for you. So you can take two colors and blend them right into each other if you like. So now let's go ahead and talk about um, adding a background so if you wanted to add a texture or something of that nature um, you can just come in here and click uh, in the background image area click upload new and grab a texture that you have on your computer and open it and you have the opportunity to fill frame tile it tile horizontally or tile vertically I'm gonna pick tile because it's a, a small tile that's gonna uh, go across the whole background I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna come over here and click refresh and you're going to see now that, that those little dotted patterns are tiled in the background. So you can go ahead and add a background in here and it keeps our body here. So let's go ahead and start messing around with this body and I'll show you what we can do with it. So let's go to the body tab. And the first thing I want to show you is you can set the body width. So right now we're at 900. I'm going to drop this down to six, 600 and change. Click save. And let's see what that does to the site. So if you want to change the whole width of the of the site, you can go ahead and just do that right in there. Um, and if you want to make it larger, you can do that as well. It's just this really quick toggle. And so you can go ahead and, and uh, decide what size width you want your site to be. Um, another thing that you have is the body color. So let's say I wanted to make this body color, um, you know, more of a gray. I can come in here and make it gray, and it's going to change this body color right here to a gray. And so obviously I'd have to come in and, and fine tune in the other areas and change these colors to, to be what I wanted them to be. But you can see how quickly you could change the color of this body. And now I'm going to go ahead and play around with the drop shadow. So I'm going to turn this back to white and I'm going to go ahead and change the drop shadow. So this is the this is the uh, body shadow width, so this is going to be how thick the drop shadow is, and this is going to be the opacity. So I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up, and I'm going to turn the drop shadow all the way up, and I'm going to click Save. And you're going to see that this drop shadow here becomes darker and larger. And so there you have the, the drop shadow. But let's say I didn't want this, this body at all. I, didn't want to, I, want, I wanted to see it gone. So I can come in here. And I can turn off the drop shadow, just knock both of these items down to zero. And I can make body transparent by clicking true. And when I click save, I'm going to come back here and refresh it. And you're going to see that the background will now show through because there is no body. So the background now comes all the way through. And let's say that I really like this open format, but I just wanted it to be all white. I can go ahead and come back to the background area. And I can clear this background, click save. And now you're going to see that we've just completely opened up the layout. So I'm going to refresh. And now you have this all white on white. It's open layout. Um, and so if you wanted to now go in and change up all the colors to be dark, or if you have specific colors you want to get in there, you can do that. So that's just a really quick understanding of how quickly you can um, modify the, the branding of this and get it to match your branding. And I hope that was informative. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to go to intothedarkroom.com and click on the support tab. We'd be happy to help you in any way we can. Thanks again, guys.